it's it's just been a whirlwind the last two years. Um, I've really enjoyed some of the larger cases with special needs kids that are maybe a little bit older, um, that have more complex medical histories, that have a lot of dental treatment. I was able to draw on my uh, experience as a general dentist to maybe see some more adult, adult dentistry getting done. So I've really enjoyed that. I also like the little, the little kids, they're fun too. Probably the biggest challenge is learning how to be a student again. Um, you know, being out and then having, I've got three teenagers at home and so having dad study along with them at night was kind of fun, but just trying to unlearn things and relearn how to be a student was, was a hurdle for me. I mean, I could not ask for a better group of residents, um, not only I mean, the class that I'm with is fantastic, but the class that was ahead of us and then the class that's below us have just been phenomenal. Everyone's so good about jumping in and helping out. Um, yeah, I mean, they're friends for life. And then just the faculty, just their patience with us. And I'm not gonna speak for the whole group, but I really appreciate them taking a chance on me. Uh, being a non-traditional student, um, I think can be kind of a hurdle sometimes, but I just appreciate you know, all the help that they've given and the good examples. Just lear learning how to be a better dentist was, was so great. So I'm staying here in Omaha. I'm gonna be working for a federally qualified health center, uh, One World Community Health. Um, and that's where I worked beforehand uh, for about seven years prior to residency, and they want to create a pediatric clinic. Um, so I'm gonna be able to provide those services to those kids because a lot of them are here undocumented. They don't have access to traditional care. So insurance is a problem, finances are a problem, and I think it'll be really a great way to, to help those kids out.